take to it. Dude, this thing is cracked. Oh my god, dude. I remember in the beta when this was like my favorite gun. I made a video talking about how it was like the best gun in the beta. And I think it might be like one of the best now. Maybe like top five. Because like not a lot of guns can put out damage like this. All right, guys, we're hopping into Hardpoint with the RPD. Now, Ferg said this gun's the next S36. I left a poll for you guys, and I said, like, what's the best LMG right now? And 80-something percent of you guys did the RPD. And I was like, holy dude. So I was like, I need to try this out for myself. So I played it a few games, and oh my god, this thing's insane. <laughs> it is a laser beam. So we're just hopping into a quick game with it. Oh, there's two guys right here. What's up? But yeah, it is an LMG, so it's going to have slower movement speed than normal. But my god, it's nuts, dude. I think there's a guy like... Oh my god, he just popped up right in my face right there, dude. And of course it has like 100 bullets. So you hardly ever have to reload. But when you do reload, unfortunately, it takes 10 years to reload the gun. So you basically need to use fast mag on this gun or else it sucks. <laughs> but yeah, this thing's nuts. Okay, well that was a waste of a better missile. Um, where should I put my sentry gun? Let's put it somewhere toxic. Like right here, right as they walk through that main entrance. <laughs> All right, well we got the new hard point. Let's go ahead and rush it up. But yeah, dude, this thing's—it's just—it feels like you're using the Titan from like um, Call of Duty Black Ops or something. Also, the iron sight on this gun's not horrible either. So if if you don't want to use a uh, sight, you can go with the iron sight. I actually kind of like the iron sight, so I'm rocking it. All right, well these guys are up in this hard point. Probably gonna go up the stairs. I don't know. Oh, hold on. It also has decent range. Um, if you if you're too long range, like the range I'm taking this fight right now is too long. But like if you're anywhere from like mid to long range, it actually does work pretty well. Cause the gun shakes a little bit, like with its recoil, but it's it's overall like pretty low. Like it doesn't have that much vertical recoil. Just it's just got a little bit of shake to it. Dude, this thing is cracked. Oh my god, dude! I remember in the beta when this was like my favorite gun. I made a video talking about how it was like the best gun in the beta and i think it might be like one of the best now maybe like top five because like not a lot of guns can put out damage like this because remember it's also an lmg so since it is an lmg it's going to have a high dps rate but it's just something else man this thing just feels like a monster all right well we got the VTOL. okay that guy's safe I don't like getting VTOL on this map because it's hard to hit the enemies. They're always hiding in places. Like, I can't hit those guys. Oh god, am I getting RPG'd by something? I heard a noise. Hope not. Oh, hello. Use the missiles. The missiles! Unleash the missiles! Can I hit that guy? No, I guess I can't. Come on, Greg wants more missiles. Give me the missiles! Yeah. On kills. I love the VTOL, it's so good. Alright. Dude, I'm telling you though, this Hard thing's pretty lost. freaking cracked. I'm not exactly sure what Ferg said about it in his video, but I will say, yes, I think it is the next S36. I mean, I, I don't know, because the S36 was OP, like really OP. You know what I mean? So I don't know if this thing reaches those standards, but it's definitely to some extent the next S36. Okay, let's take that guy out right there. I'm just gonna spam some nades. Oh my god, that guy almost killed me! No! <laughs> that guy got us with the ICR. I haven't seen that thing in a minute. Dang, bro. Alright, it's one predator missile. Rush up. They're actually in the lead right now, bro. We're gonna need to, like, actually, like, pick it up a little bit. I'm kind of going for frags a little bit too much right now. Just kind of going around with this RPD, just slaying, dude. Alright, well, we're gonna have to go to this next hard point. Bang. Capture the objective. Hard point identified. The, the next hard point's gonna be at our spawn. Dude, I mean look at this thing. Okay, he's one tap, but still. Like, oh my god, it's just so crazy good. It really does remind me of the Titan from BO4, as far as like the damage. I don't quite remember the recoil pattern. 
the Titan, but it's so, so strong. Alright, let me get to this next hard point since none of my other teammates are going to get it. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to say, is anybody going to come here or what? I mean, these guys are playing OBJ, the other team, so you think they might start heading over here. Enemy shock RC has been destroyed. Hello, anybody home? I guess not. All right, let's just go. Oh, there's this guy in the window right there. Come on. There we go. Man, dude, it has so much ammo. That's why I love it. Let's go and drop in the Predator. I need to see where these guys are spawning. Okay, that's why. They're all on the other side of the map. Well, let's go ahead and rotate to the next hard point, which is going to be the starting hard point. Look at this thing, bro. Oh my god. It's so good. I'm going to put a sentry in the middle of the map. Why not? Ow. Sentry gun, take that guy out, please. Hostiles have destroyed your sentry gun. I don't know where this guy's coming in from. I feel like he's going to come from there. No? I hear a bunch of footsteps. I don't know if that's my teammates or not. Oh. Take that guy out first. Oh my god. <laughs> guys scared the crap out of me, dude. We tied for the lead. Coming? Oh, there he is. I knew it was somewhere under me. I just wasn't sure exactly which staircase. This guy down there. I don't want to accidentally hit the window and kill myself, so I got to be really careful. There's a guy on the outside. Here, I'm just going to dip. Oh my god, there's actually a lot of guys on me right now. Ow, 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 ow. I really need to stop hitting myself with this thing, dude. I'm like really good at killing myself with this uh, war machine gun. <laughs> okay, I know I saw. Yeah, there he is. Dude, the wall bags with this gun, though. Oh my god! I don't even have FMJ. I'll show you guys my class setup later, but holy, bro, this LMG does not mess around when it comes to wall bags. All right, let's take those guys out. Yeah. All right. Dang, dude. Free veto kills. Get a missiles go. You guys down here as well. All right, GGs, dude. All right, so that is the gameplay. Let's go ahead and hop into the class setup with the RPD. Now, this is an LMG, so I'm going to make this a little bit differently uh, than I would normally make, you know, like an AR class setup or an SMG or something like that. It's just going to have a little bit of a different kind of attachment style to it. So first things first, we're using the Magic Bull skin. Of course, you can use any RPD skin you guys want to. Um, for the scope, I actually am not using a scope on this RPD, and I just... I just really like the iron sight, and I just thought it was very precise, and it's it's smaller, so you can kind of see exactly where you're going to be shooting, because at longer ranges, I don't like to have a big iron sight, because then it's like kind of bulky, and it's not as accurate, but smaller iron sight's better at longer range, so I actually like the RPD iron sight, I just decided not to use the red dot on this thing. Um, for the first attachment, you need to use a quick draw, if you're not using a quick draw, you will lose every gunfight close range. It just takes way too long to scope in with LMGs. So the quick draw helps uh, lessen that time that it takes. But it, yeah, you just need to have it. Um, the next thing I would throw on is a fast mag because this gun takes so long to reload. I think it's like at least five or six, something, seven, I don't know, something like that seconds. But yeah, it's a while. So throw the fast reload on. It's at least going to help a little bit. And it does have 100 bullets. So also just keep in mind, you're not always going to be need, you know, needing to reload because it does have 100. So don't, you know, go crazy with the reloads. But still, when you do need to reload, it's nice to be a little bit faster so you don't, you know, accidentally get caught on a reload and die. And then for the last attachment, there's a few things that work well. You could use like um, a stock because the LMG's movements are usually pretty slow and just bulky. Like it just overall has bad movement. I mean, the movement speed's only... Um, 40 originally the stock will bump it up to 50 so it helps a little bit if you're trying to move side to side when you're ads which you want to do that with every gun it's just good to strafe so you could go with a stock the foregrip is also going to help you a little bit when you've been fi like if you're firing a while without like reloading or running out of ammo the gun will start to get really shaky so if you're using it at longer ranges the foregrip kind of re reduces that shake so it also works really well um in that gameplay i was using foregrip since it was on crossfire and i was taking a lot of longer range fights the foregrip helps a little bit with that shake that comes at the end of a spray 
or should I say a spam? Because, I mean, the LMG spam meta, you know what I mean? Uh, for the secondary, you could use whatever you want. I, I had a pistol equipped, but I probably didn't need to because I only use the pistol when I run out of ammo. You're not going to find yourself running out of ammo that much with the uh, RPD, or just for that matter, any LMG. So you could probably just use an RPG and be fine with it. But I'm just going to throw the pistol because that's what I was using. Um, I'm just going to use the war machine here. For the first lethal, um, it's up to you. It's a longer range gun, so I would recommend just using a frag grenade. It's probably going to go well with the uh, with the gun. And finally, for the tactical, you pretty much want to use a trophy system. Just because, I mean, LMGs are usually long range, more like campy style guns. Of course, that doesn't mean you have to camp with an LMG. But, you know, you're not going to be moving around a whole bunch. So trophy systems are going to be more better just to kind of defend your area and keep yourself from getting blown up, basically. Um, for the first perk, I'm going to use Agile. Now, usually I would go with something a little bit different. Sometimes I would use Agile. It just depends on the gun I'm playing. But you definitely want Agile on LMG classes because, the, like I said earlier, the ADS time is just so long with LMGs. So Agile is just going to help that a little bit. You know, it's going to say aiming time of weapons after sprinting is reduced by 85%. So it just helps right after you're sprinting. You can just ADS faster with LMGs. And LMGs are ridiculous as far as ADSing. So you want to make sure it's at least as fast as you can make it as far as the perks go. So we're going to use Agile there. For the second perk, I'm going to go ahead and use Toughness. Because when I'm using the LMG, I'm just trying to kill them as fast as possible and very efficient. So I don't want to have to worry about flinch. So I just go with toughness because with the LMG, I, honestly, I'm just trying to go for as many kills as possible. That's why I'm using toughness. I just want to get as many kills as possible and not have to worry about flinch or anything like that disrupting my aim. And for the last perk, now I did use Dead Silence in that gameplay, but since you're not going to be moving around a ton near players, your footsteps aren't going to be one of those factors that's going to give you away a lot. So you could probably use something else. But um, Dead Silence is just kind of one of my staples, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. But it's not super necessary on an LMG class. So now that I got the class set up for you guys, this is what I'm using for the RPD. I'll go ahead and show you guys the score streaks, because the score streaks are quite different than what I'm normally using. So if I were to go to my score streaks, I'm literally using like pretty high stuff and since it is an lmg you're not going to be rushing a lot you're not going to be dying nearly as much with like an aggressive ar class or an msmc or pdw or something where you're going to be rushing a lot of fights so you could probably go on the higher end of score streaks and be fine i mean i was able to get um the i think gunship twice in that gameplay i can't remember if it was once or twice i'm pretty sure we got it twice in that gameplay so you know you don't really die that much and um it is an lmg so you're gonna have the um the outgun advantage or just the gunfight advantage since the lmgs tend to have faster kill times especially the rpd because it's literally a laser beam so yeah i i just tend to rock higher score streaks on any lmg class especially the rpd Alright guys, that's it for the video. Let me know what you guys think of the RPD. I honestly think that this might be in the meta. We might start seeing this in ranked. Like, I've already seen a few LMGs in ranked, and I was shocked. And they actually did pretty good with it. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. I feel like LMGs are just really good right now, just because of the whole, like, longer range meta going around. Because you don't really see as much MSMCs anymore. You see a little bit of PDW, a little bit of Rust here and there, but it's just mostly ARs. So, I don't know. We might start seeing a lot of LMGs in the upcoming season, and maybe at the start of next season. I don't know. We'll have to see, because... There's just a lot of stuff happening ever since the S36 nerf. People have actually been looking at other LMGs, and some of them are actually pretty good, and people didn't really realize it. So yeah, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys go ahead and leave a like if you did, and also subscribe to the channel for some more Call of Duty Mobile content, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. As you guys may know by now, I hide a G that looks just like this one in every video. If you guys find it, just comment the timestamp in the uh, comment section where you found it. And I give you a shout out at the end of the next video. One of the guys who got it in the last video, I'm going to go ahead and leave them up here. So shout out to you, bro. And I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace out.